How do we get out of our circumstances? We have to transition from being the brokenhearted to the restored hearted. And that's the only way I can put it. <laughs> Hi, my name is Marlon Walker. The things that was very attractive about what Transition House offers is a place called the Drop Center. The Drop Center was important to me because I didn't have any friends or family or any place that I could go and just be in a safe environment. And the Drop Center provided a safe environment where I could watch TV, I could charge my phone, I could do things on the internet, um, I could read. This was a, uh, basically a jewel for me in my circumstances and uh, it could be a jewel for other people in similar circumstances. When you're in these kind of circumstances, you can make two judgments. They genuinely can care about my well-being or they don't and the well-being the care for my well-being was conveyed in such a way that I just assumed that we I would it would be an extension of my unimmediate family the authenticity that is conveyed there would be days when I would be not feeling too good mentally, emotionally, and I just dropped by. Well, on one particular occasion, I dropped by and Bonnie had some gifts for me, which were fabrics. And I just got this idea to make a piece of art for Transition House. And at first it just started out as, I just wanted to convey how uh, deeply they, uh, the staff and the work that Transition House does impacted my heart, my the essence of who I am. And so uh, I had, had no money, so I was just looking for things in the area to just build a creative mind. And so one day I found these logs and the bark was coming off the logs. I was like, you know what? I could do something with that. And so um, I had this idea to make this giant heart. And so it didn't go as quick as I thought it would. So about a week, two weeks into it, I, in my devotional time again, I had the inspiration to write a poem. And this is the nuts and bolts of what I'm talking about is Bonnie, Transition House, her staff, serve people with broken hearts. And that's such a cliche, cliche term because people don't really understand what entails a broken heart. And so this uh, piece that I made is basically displays and it shows what a broken heart is and what staff and people that work in this industry have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. I used bark from a tree log and I started to put the pieces together like a puzzle, but then I noticed some of the pieces weren't fitting and I just had this overwhelming sense of peace because our broken pieces don't fit. And so, I started looking at the different textures of the bark. Some of the bark was really rough and jagged and coarse. Well, some of the instances in life leave us jagged, coarse, and just not pliable. So, um, I just, thought it would be a representation of people like myself. It wasn't 
enough that my life has been riddled with mental health, substance abuse, alcoholism, Okay, so this is the gift um, that I made for Transition House. And I didn't name the piece other than The Broken Hearted. And along with the piece comes a poem that I wrote. And I'd like to re read that to you guys. Um, the title of the poem is called The Broken Hearted. What is a broken heart? Every proud one of heart. Choppy places depict the heart's location. Dense texture exposes life's disasters. This is the broken hearted. Bark from a tree is what people see. I observe trees of righteousness with a broken heart. Fragments of spirit are like puzzles with pieces that don't fit. Terrain of circumstance shaped the brokenhearted. He promised to never leave or forsake us, and your care for our broken hearts saved us. I recognize the brokenhearted through art's magnificent melee. Mourning hearts are broken hearts, longing for joy again, a canvas happy within. This is the broken hearted. And I think poetry is a very abstract artistic way to express someone's feelings, thoughts, sentiments, and being displaced, not excluding myself from the community. Our pride keeps us locked into circumstances of recidivism, back and forth in jail, or back and forth with a abusive spouse, or back and forth in a toxic drug lifestyle. So how do we get out of our circumstances? We have to transition from being the brokenhearted to the restored hearted. And that's the only way I can.